Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Any Unlock. Whether you have a Face ID device or a Touch ID device, Any Unlock can help you remove and recover your device back to factory working order in case you ever forgotten the passcode. Now, sometimes we crack the displays and we can't really enter the passcode, so we can't actually restore the device. Any Unlock has you covered, or maybe you have an older device and you just forgot the passcode and locked yourself out. Any Unlock can help you recover your device by simply connecting it, click on restore, and it will restore your device back to factory working orders. So check out Any Unlock. Of course, as always, links will be in the description down below. Okay, guys, so iOS 16.1 Developer Beta 2 has been out for about five to six days as of the filming of today's video. So in this video, of course, I want to come back and share with you guys additional details in terms of new features and changes that I may come across. Of course, I like to talk about battery and bugs as well. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. And now, of course, iOS 16.1 is still sitting in beta 2. A lot of you guys are asking, when can we expect the official final release? We'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Now, one of the bigger issues with 16.1 was GPS. GPS was all over the place. It was very, very slow, laggy, and it just wasn't working properly on the latest 16.1 developer beta 2 now has been fixed and now this software is working properly with gps so i'm happy to report this gps is fully functional on the latest beta now in case you didn't catch it the icon here for the status bar battery percentage indicator i did cover this on my initial beta but it is now dynamic so it actually uh, depletes the battery as the battery percentage goes down so it's a really cool new change for the actual battery indicator in case you missed that i also want to talk about the actual battery performance overall on this particular device now many iphone 14 users believe it or not do report poor battery performance on the latest ios 16 and and iOS 16.1 betas as well. I do have to say the battery isn't the best. I don't want to go ahead and say the battery is the best, but it does get me through my entire day. I have no issues with my iPhone getting through the entire day. So uh, most users, if you're using the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro, keep in mind that those devices are slightly smaller than the actual device that I'm using for testing, which is the Pro Max. So the battery performance and usage may vary, of course, depending on your you know user habits, how you use your device but overall i do have to say the battery is performing okay on this device not the best but it isn't the worst we'll have to wait and see of course apple will continue building upon iphone 14 with future software updates and the one thing i also want to follow up is on the latest iOS 16.1 developer beta 2, over the weekend I was following the live sports event baseball game here, the Red Sox versus the Yankees, and I do have to say that live activities are working as intended. I really love live activities. I went into the Apple TV application, went to the Friday night games, and followed through the actual baseball game. And by the way, you can actually also do that if you swipe the notification away. You can follow the game scores right there on Dynamic Island, which is super cool cool i like this option here as well because as i browse through my iphone i can actually follow the scores and then when i lock my iphone i can see the live activity here as well live activities is set to be coming out with ios 16.1 officially being released so fingers crossed things are looking good here as well overall i do have to say 16.1 is beta software the batteries i mentioned is okay not the best but that is to be expected as it is beta software in terms of bugs gps is back and working three finger gesture for accessibility seems to be addressed here as well we'll continue covering the software of course the next update ios 16.1 developer beta 3 could be right around the corner apple looks to be on a weekly release schedule and if they continue on that weekly release schedule and you're watching today on monday the 26 we can expect another beta as early as tomorrow september the 27th so mark your calendars of course you can follow me on twitter for more details i'll let you guys know there and of course you can anticipate my video here with additional features and changes within the next software let me know how's the software working for you if you're not running beta and you have the newer iphone 14 i would like to hear from you in those comments down below how is the battery performance for you and if you are running the beta let me know how's that beta performing for you on 16.1. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.